What did I have here? The chef's cut? You had the chef's cut. Beef you, jerky. Beef this jerky. is the jerky. We're eating jerky here that this morning. That is really good. I've been eating it all but the time. You break. also were in denial of the sticks, and I gave you the stick, and you yeah, loved it. Yeah, the stick, it looked like, yeah. It looked odd, but when you tried it? Yeah. But this stuff is great, can I just say? What's going on? What, jerky is a big popular thing now. Jerky is taking off in a big way because everybody wants high protein, low sugar. It's pretty much standard. And a lot of the times you go down, go down the grocery aisle, we call it the center of the store. Right. Everything's upside down. Everything is high carb, high sugar, high fructose corn syrup, low protein, low fiber. And, you know, we actually probably ate right 60 years ago. And then we decided to package and process the out of everything, Ow. and now we're coming back to the way we should eat, which is right. high protein, high fiber, low sugar, low carbs. By the way, you come from a packaged goods background as the CMO at Coca-Cola, then at Glasso, and, and coming up with all of these, how, how, when did you first notice that there, there were differences for consumers, that we wanted different things, that the trends were different? You know, I first, um, I mean, I was a soda guy. I used to drink soda. And by the way, soda is, is great, just sugar is not. So that's, you know, when buy changed the game, we have regular buy and we don't have it here, but we have buy bubbles. Buy bubbles is amazing because it's the new soda. It's one gram of sugar. Americans love soda, we're not gonna give it up. And so I first started realizing this when I switched and left Coke and went to vitamin water. And vitamin water had half the sugar of Coke and people were looking to do that. And then now people want no sugar. So in your beverages, no one wants to drink sugar. Do you so, have a no sugar one there? Yeah, buy one gram. I need one. Although, by the way, would you buy, would you want to own stock in Coca-Cola? Yes. You um, would. I think that, I mean, let's pick Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, for example. Right. I give those guys a lot of credit. They had the vision, buy is a game-changing brand. It's an explosive growth. It's off the charts where consumers are absorbing it. Willie Geis was just on you and I show. Right. Willie goes, oh, I love that. Everybody I show the brand to, they've tried it, they loved it. And Dr. Pepper Snapple Group had the vision to say, you know what, we're gonna take a game-changing brand because we realize the system needs a game-changing brand. So the big guys are going to find the game-changing brands, put it into their right. systems, and it's gonna benefit them. How important is the celebrity aspect of all of this? You've had a lot of celebrities involved in a lot of your projects. Yeah. yeah so. You don't have to have a celebrity. People think it's like, okay, Rose in a brand, who's the new celebrity? That does not have to happen. But if you have the right celebrity who's very smart, and 50 was very smart on vitamin water, I mean, he picked the flavor, he picked the marketing strategy, he told me, don't pay me, give me skin, and I'll, once you give that to me, I'll show what I do. Justin Timberlake on buy, Justin understands the brand amazingly well. Him and the founder, Ben, have a fantastic relationship, and he got in because he believed in what Ben was doing. What's about. the hottest next trend? So we have jerky as a new trend. This is, uh, this is not a new trend at this point. I mean, it, I, it's not a new trend, but sugar is public enemy number right. one. Everyone understands that. So buy is, is probably the best tasting low calorie or one gram of sugar right. product in the market, and that trend is here to stay. We've just scratched the surface on that. Are you a yogurt guy? Uh, I do have yogurt, yeah. Yeah. What about cottage cheese? Are you you're invested We're, in uh, We have an culture? amazing because the cottage cheese is fantastic, by the way. It's that's a new thing. It's, it's, cottage cheese the, is going to be the new yogurt. I love cottage. One of the economic theories behind celebrity endorsement is this: it signals to the buyer that the people behind the product believe enough in it to pay a guy to step forward and endorse it. And I is that how you think it actually works? Why would I buy a product like this? because Justin Timberlake. What does Justin Timberlake know about drinks? Why does it work? How does Justin Timberlake uh, connect with the consumer? So I think the first thing is, whoever the celebrity is has to believe in the product. Consumers are very smart these days. They will figure out very quickly whether it's an endorsement or the actual guy actually believes in it. Justin had a stake in the company, he invested in there, he believed in the brand. And when you see how he believes in something authentically, consumers then are made aware of it. So, oh, Justin has that? Oh, okay, let me try it. You try the product and everything comes down to trying. Once you try it and it's great, I'm in. I don't this care which really celebrity. Right, what's, the brand, what's the company you've missed in all of this? As a guy who understands brands, I'm sure people bring you stuff all the time. There has to be one where you looked at it and you said, I don't really like that, but then, you know. A friend of mine came to me um, about five years ago, and uh, I actually wanted to invest, but I'm mildly dyslexic, so I, I wrote his number down wrong. Yeah. And uh, it was a car, a car or taxi app that I thought was pretty cool. And I thought, yeah, okay, I'll put some money in, but, and then I got the number wrong. But I didn't follow off, because I thought, you know what, it's probably a 3X, 2, 3, Uber. <laughs> 
<laughs> so the 3X ended up being a 300X, so that, that, that was a bit of a miss. Let me ask you, why can't big companies do this? Why, why is it that these brands have to be developed by small, you know, grown from the ground up and then sold to big companies? Why can't the big companies figure this out? Yeah, the, the infrastructure in big companies doesn't allow for game-changing innovation and thinking. So the beauty and why I think this is the greatest country in the world, this is my you know, American mantra, to be an entrepreneur, is because entrepreneurs in America have become the innovation incubators for corporate America. And corporate America has said, you know what, we'll just create Good. VC arms right. and go out there and, and buy, and buy and them. You if you could invest waste in money one developing? big CPG company, it would be what? Coke, Pepsi, you like Pepsi? Uh, I mean, I'm going to give my boys a do uh, Dr. Pepper uh, credit. Dr. Pepper? Do yeah, okay. DPSG, they made the big move. They believed in the brand, and this brand is explosive. I'm, I'm behind them. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.